Thanks for calling Pizza Hut. My name's Aaron. Uh, could I have your first and last name, please? Nick Pickett. Alright, thanks, Mr. Pickett. Could I get your phone number as well? 703-494-2700. Thanks, Mr. Pickett. How can I help you today? Hi, um, I recently received a pizza, and believe it or not, there was a hair in it. And okay. it was, it was, I wasn't really going to eat it. And then I called and asked if I could get a refund or get a new pizza. And they said, because you waited over half an hour, your request has been denied. And I was on the phone for like 20 minutes of that half oh, an hour. I Alright, well, we do want to apologize about that. What we can do uh, is we can definitely file an incident report on this, have it sent off to our leadership team to have them take a look into the for you. Okay. Alright, so we'll definitely get working on that for you, Mr. Pickett. Do you have an email address that I can share with us for this report on filing? I actually do not have an email address. Okay. Uh, then would you like to provide a mailing address for this report? Um, yes. Fourteen four or er, fourteen four hundred thirty-eight. Mm -hmm. Jefferson Davis Highway. Okay. And that's in what city? Is it? Uh, Virginia Springfield. It's where? I'm sorry, Springfield, Virginia. Yes, sir. Alright, can I get their zip code? My zip code? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. It is L9T. Oh, hang on just one second. I hate to interrupt you, but um, I just got one real quick question. Are you calling from Canada? No, sir. Because L9, L9T? Oh, let me let me just go check that really quick then. Let me just go ask my mom really quick. Sorry. No, you're fine. Okay, hi. Um, my mom's saying that the zip code is 221. 53. All right, give me just one second here. Okay, and now, uh, which store would you end up ordering from? Is that the one in Springfield? Yes, sir. All right, cool. Uh, well, then, uh, it looks like what we're going to end up having to do here is uh, have this report sent off to our above store leadership teams and uh, have them contact you back in about three business days with some follow up if that sounds all right. Yes. Okay. Uh, how would you like them to contact? Well, I guess. Phone. We'll skip that question. Um, about what time of day is good for them to contact you? Um, probably around four and to ten. Four to ten. Okay. Now, what time did you place your order tonight? Uh, it wasn't tonight. Was it last night? Yes. Okay. About time. Well, about what time was that though? Uh, about 7.30. 7.38. Oh. Okay. And for marketing purposes only, do you mind if I ask how much your order costs, Mike? How much it costs? Sorry. It yes. came up to uh, about 11.13, I believe. All right. Well, Mick, that's everything I need, so thank you very much for that. Okay. Um, I, I will go ahead and get this report sent off, and someone should contact you on a full Monday with some follow-up. Okay. Yep. And uh, the worst thing about all this happening is, uh, I think it was a pubic hair. Well, I can definitely mark that down as well here. Either way, we'll get it turned off. We'll get you taken care of, mate. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yep. Oh, sorry. Anything else I can do for you tonight? Uh, nope, that's it.
Sorry, right. we just got well, disconnected. Thanks for calling in the pizza, and you have a great night. Yep, yeah, you too. Thanks. I couldn't handle that. I almost fucking burst. I <laughs> keep leaving. I almost burst. You're like, hello, hello? I was trying to act like we got disconnected for a second and I couldn't hear him. He's like, he's like, hello, Nick? Nick, are you there? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you fucking idiot, you said outline zero. <laughs> I said, I was going with my postal code and then I was going to mess up the ending. Oh, wow. I gave you another one. <laughs> I know. I'll be right back. I've never seen a zip like that. I thought that was inaccurate. 